Hey guys, welcome back to Zanja Dreams, where we discuss everything business and entrepreneurship. Over the last few years, niche planners have soared in popularity. These days, you can purchase goal-oriented journals for almost any niche. Business, fitness, party planning, you name it. There's probably a planner to help organize this section of your life. People buy planners to track their productivity habits, such as attending workouts, flossing your teeth, or writing down gratitude. Essentially, what they do is help you manage your time. There are so many design tools you can choose from to create your planner. I've seen a lot of people use Adobe and Procreate, but you can also use Canva. The cost of setting up the business relatively is low. The marketing costs of this planner business can be reduced early by sharing your products with friends, family, and spreading word of mouth. Social media is the most common nowadays. So you have to create a social media strategy that will help you get your product out there. There are so many types of planners that are popular in the current market and these include planners for parties, business planners, daily planners, diet, fitness and wellness planners just to mention a few. So it's up to you to decide whether you want it physical or digital. Obviously you're going to go through the process of designing it so it goes without saying that you will have a digital mock-up. This will help you and your supplier or manufacturer understand what the physical product will look like. If you don't want to design it yourself, you can look at other options and use online freelance network platforms such as Upwork or Fiverr to hire someone to design for you. To be honest, you don't really have to be a graphic designer to create a planner. It also helps you explore your creative size, which is something I always recommend. That's what allows you to be innovative and come up with new ideas or designs that no one has ever done. You can now look for a supplier who will handle the shipping and packaging of your product. Like any other business, you can also try the dropshipping method. So how it works is the planner product is already customized and listed on your website. You are responsible for marketing it. The customer will place an order and then you will notify the print on demand company about this order. Basically, you'll make the order on their behalf. You can have it shipped to you directly or you can have it shipped to the customer. But as a business owner who values customer relations and satisfaction, it's important for you to have a sample made and sent to you before you start the business. It doesn't matter what method you use to source products for your planner business. Always get a sample sent to you to allow you to examine it and ensure that it meets your requirements thoroughly. are one of the top rising product niches at the moment so if you're looking to create an in-demand product that you can tailor to your own audience then starting your own planner business could be something to seriously consider dive in sooner than later to really capitalize on this growing market
that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you guys next time